Next at 10, there are new front runners in the race for Senator Cole's seat. The night team's David Douglas has more on who could be in or out in 2012. David. Sarah and Eric, Congressman Paul Ryan won't be running. He believes he can do more in the House as the ranking Republican on the Budget Committee. But an old face could be coming back into Wisconsin's political spotlight. We're hearing Wisconsin's longest serving governor, Tommy Thompson, is toying with a run for Senate. Well, he understands that he's in a different situation than the others. On one, one hand, he's an icon, iconic status here in Wisconsin, but on the other, he's flirted with other races before, and he understands that there is no time for him to test the waters. He's either got to be in or he's out, and I believe he's going to be in. Former Thompson staffer and advisor Bill McCaution says Thompson intends to run and is putting together a team to do so. This may be a bit of deja vu for some, as Thompson considered running against Senator Feingold last year, but advisors say this time is different. I count Tommy Thompson as a good friend. I served with him when he was governor and I was in the state legislature. Um, I think it would be a, 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 a Tommy Tammy matchup would be a, a fantastic contest. <laughs> Congresswoman Tammy Baldwin there says she'll make a decision on entering the race this summer. Her colleague from La Crosse, Ron Kine, is also considering becoming a candidate. Former Senator Russ Feingold also reportedly weighing his options, as are Republican state lawmakers, the Fitzgerald brothers. As UW political scientist Charles Franklin tells us, there is a lot of time for this race to shake out, 17 months or so. So the main contenders likely not in place just yet, less than a week after Senator Cole announced his decision not to seek re-election. A lot of uh, interesting names in the mix, though, and something oh, yeah. we'll be watching for the next year and a half. David Douglas, David, thank you very much.